so hello friends welcome back in the lecture 3 and in this lecture we are going to solve the third problem okay of uh, lead co sorry interview bit <laughs> and the problem name is repeat and missing number okay so as usual first of all we will see what the problem says and what we need to see before solving the problem and how to intuit and how to approach the problem so first of all it was stated that you must see the overflows which means that int it might overflow and move to long long so you must see this case so the first thing which i need to show you that uh, how it will overflow see the in size is less than equal to to uh, if i should say that uh, it is basically int is nearly around 2 into 10 to the power 9 and long long int it can go up to maximum of 10 to the power 18 so the first thing is if you multiply two ints then it might overflow and move to long long so first thing is that when you multiply two ints then make sure to type cast to long long before multiplying now you will say rn see uh, the first thing is that if i know that i have suppose uh, integer a and b and i know that if i multiply a and b so it will move to long long so what i will do i will do long long c and i will store it in c but i will say no sorry it will also give overflow now you will say r and y see it was int it, it was int i multiplied it and i stored it in a long long so why it will give uh, you know out o overflow so i will say that see when you multiply an int and an int so answer will be first of all stored in an int then it will move to a number which you have placed here which means c so it will assign later first of all after multiplication it will store it an int so what you can do is that either you make one or both of them long long and then you will assign it to a long long number which means c which means that c is equals to long long int of a into long long int of b and then you will assign it to c so that when you multiply it then the answer will be stored in a long long rather than in a int so i showed you this because the thing which i showed you here it is very important not only in this problem but also in general knowledge and yeah as you might have understood up till now that it will be used in this problem so yeah the first thing which we will need to do is that we will be having n numbers okay n integers basically and suppose have the we will have the first example 3 1 2 5 and 3 so as you can see that out of these n numbers one number will be repeated as you can see here the 3 is repeated and one number will be missing as you can see that 4 is missing it is missing okay yeah very cool so what you need to find out is that you need to find out the number which is this which means which is the number which is repeating repeating and the number this which means the number which is missing so the first thing which strikes my mind is that i can use a hashing okay which means that i can use a map so what i will do i will map these values which means i will map 3 to 1 i will map 1 with 1 i will map 2 with 1 i will map 5 with 1 then i add 3 i will map it with you know 2 and map of 4 will be 0 so at last in o of n i will iterate and check that uh, which value of map is 2 and which value of map is 0 then it will be my you know x which means uh, which means a and it will be my b but as you can see that if you use a map okay the time which you have in this problem it is o of n but the space also it is o of n but it is stated that uh, we can implement it without using extra memory so 
we have to optimize it. Although we can do it in first place, my first approach was use a hashing or a map so that I can have it in my O of N space and time. But I need to optimize it in space and move it to O of 1 rather than O of N. So how to optimize in space? So now let's see that. So let me extend it. Yeah. So as you can see that my array was 1, 3, 1, 2, 5 and 4. So the elements will be what I wanted finally is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So as you can clearly see that okay. So it is repeating. I will cross it. 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 Okay, sorry. It was 3 here. Yeah. It is 3. So finally, you will see that you will remain with something like this 4 and 3. Now, actually, uh, I do like this. I, I cross it like this. But actually, and finally, I don't know like which numbers I crossed initially. So ultimately, I will have, suppose I was uh, making it sum. Okay, suppose it sum is you know, sum, sum uh, 1 and it sum is sum, sum 2. So actually, finally, what I will obtain is, I will obtain sum 1 minus sum 2, which means I will obtain 4 minus 3 which is 1. So from this thing, the first thing I know is that the numbers which I am having, suppose I let the missing number here, suppose it is y and I let the number which is repeating here, it is x. So the first thing I know is that y minus x is 1. But actually, you know that, okay, I have one equation here, but I am not able to solve this one equation with these two variables, which means y and x. So actually, I need one more equation. So how to find one more equation? Uh, you will think, you will think, you will think. Then you will strike one thing. Okay. See, here I do sum 1 and sum 2 of these numbers. So if I square them and repeat the same procedure again, so I will still obtain a value. So how, what I will obtain? See, if I square 3, I will obtain 9. If I square 1, I will obtain 1. If I square 4, I will obtain... Sorry, if I square 2, I will obtain 4. If I square 5, I will obtain 25. If I square 3, I will obtain 9. If I square 1, I will obtain 1. Squaring 2, I will obtain 4. Squaring 3, I will obtain 9. Squaring 4, I will obtain 16. Squaring 5, I will obtain 25. Same case here. When I will do a sum, so it will cancel this. It will cancel this, it will cancel this, it will cancel this. So the remaining thing would be 16 minus 9. So I will suppose the sum here it would be, let's suppose same sum 1 and suppose the sum of this it would be, it would be sum 2. So sum 1 minus sum 2 it is 16 minus 9 which is 16 minus 9 is 7. So actually as you can see that if 4 was y then my 16 is y square. If my 3 was x, so my 9 is x square. So uh, you can clearly say that y square minus x square is 7. Then I obtain another equation. Now you will say, Arin, how it is another equation? See, from these two equations, which means this and this, see, as you know that a square minus b square, it, it's suppose a square minus b square, it is a plus b into a minus b. So, y plus x into y minus x is equal to y square minus x square. So, as you can clearly see that I know the value of y square minus x square which is 7. You can see here. I know the value of y minus x which is 1. Which you can see here. So, y plus x is equal to y square minus x square upon y minus x which is 7 upon 1. So, I obtain 7. So, finally, I can say that y plus x is 7 and y minus x is 1. So I will solve these two equations which means 2y is equals to 8, y is equals to 4 and thus if y is equals to 4 I will put it here. So x is equals to 7 minus 4 
विच इज थ्री दस यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट आई ऑप्टेन माई ए एंड आई ऑप्टेन माई बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो सी हाउ यू आई इंटूटेड दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई थॉट ऑफ फर्स्ट अप्रोच विच स्ट्राइक्स माई माइंड विच वॉज ऑफ ओ ऑफ एन स्पेस देन आई नीड टू मूव इट टू ओ ऑफ वन स्पेस सो वॉट आई डिड वॉज आई थॉट ओके आई हैव दिस एरे देन आई वॉट आई वॉन्टेड एंड वॉट आई नो इज I will have some one minus some two at last because in O of n I will have its sum. Then I have one equation, so I wanted one more equation. So I did a square and also repeat the same procedure as procedure one. So I obtained my two equations. I apply the formula of a square minus b square and then I solve these two equation, which means y plus x and y minus x. Then I obtain my value of x and y. So by this. my time complexity was reduced to o, which was o of n actually because i do sum 1 and sum 2 and for both which means for the linear as well as for the linear as well as for the square one which means after doing square also and after not doing square also and i will do it in o of n only in one loop and space See, as I am not using any extra array or a map, so my space will be O of one. Thus, I did my answer in O of n and O of one. Okay, space. So I will very quickly show you the code. So as you can see here, first of all, yeah, and one thing you need to make sure that uh, the thing, which means that when you are making square, which means a a of i into a of i, as you know that these are integers. so you need to cast them to long long int please make sure because student make these only mistakes and the and it's the only reason uh the cases not are not passed so as you can see here i will call it the sum i took it for the linear sum and the square sum variable is for the square sum value is to store my a of i because as you know that a of i need to be Passed to long long. So if I do it like this, then initially I am a of i is integer and val is long long. So I am casting my integer to long long. Then my sum it would be sum plus i my i plus one i plus one indicates this. See i plus one indicates. Uh, let me scroll back. Yeah. So i plus one indicates this. Because see, here i is zero, here i is one, here i is two, here i is three, here i is four. So i plus one is this, i plus one is this, as you can see here. Understanding? Minus val. Val means this a of i, a of i, and same for square sum. It is square sum plus i plus one into i, i plus one because it is one into one. It is two into two, and here i is equal to zero. So i plus one into i, i plus one. I plus here I equal to one, so I plus one into I plus one minus val into val, which means a of i into a of i. Okay, then I will do as I as I showed you that y minus x it is equal to the sum which I obtained, and y plus x is equals to c y plus x it is equal to square sum upon sum as I showed you c y square minus x square. So I will obtain y plus x. From here, y plus x from here, which means y square minus x square, which means square sum upon simple sum, which is this. So, at last, I will obtain my y and x as I showed you here, my y and my x, and then uh, as I need to return a vector, so I will insert my x first in my vector, and then and then my y in my vector, and at last, I will obtain my answer. So I hope that you guys was able to understand it. Uh, it was pretty, you know, a mathematical with an array. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, and see you in the next video. Bye.